I am so excited to welcome you all back to campus. This is gonna be a large freshman class of over 1,000 new freshmen that are gonna be showing up. Many of you are gonna be standing right here where I'm standing. And this is where we take our freshman photo. And the rest of you, you can come join us for the jacket jaunt all the way around this lake. Here's our new expanded SSC circle. We can fit a whole lot more students on this circle. We can have concerts. We can enjoy the lake. It extends out. I can't wait for you to see it. It's not the only construction project that we've had on campus this year, though. There have been over 50 projects completed. We've got the continued work on the Scharnberg Business Center across Cedar Lake here. We have a renovation that has taken place on the library. We've updated some spaces for you. Here behind me, we have the bathrooms in the upper portion of the Student Center have been renovated, and you can see Panda Express. I'm so excited to have some orange chicken right alongside all of you, so I can't wait to see that open. We've got a new dormitory, Morton Hall, that is completed, furniture's in, it's ready for some students to occupy it, and phase one of our new residential village is already up and started. They're already on floor two, they may be on floor three by the time you all get here. I'm excited about that as well. But listen, Cedarville is not about buildings, it's about relationships. I can't wait for you to come back and continue to form those relationships that will last you a lifetime and for us to join together and worship the Lord in chapel. Corey Abney is going to come to us and speak at this year's Fall Bible Conference and he's going to talk to us about our identity in Christ and how we can drive deep that stake that our ultimate identity, that our defining characteristics are that we are in Christ Jesus. And this year, I'm going to walk through the book of Romans with you. I can't wait to look at what it tells us about who we are, who God is, and His ultimate plan of salvation. We are sinners in need of a Savior. But the good news is that we can be justified in Christ Jesus, that we can be forgiven in Christ Jesus, and that we are made alive in Christ Jesus. The Lord is good, and He has been good to us. And I can't wait to have all of you back on campus here together as we worship Him and as we stand for the Word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. I'll see you soon.